Well, hi YouTube, welcome to this sort of special video. It's Michael again, of course, and today I'll show you how to properly solder uh, a densely packed SMD chip like this SRAM. This is the SRAM chip. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how good you can see it, but I suppose the pitch of this chip is well, it's 0 0.4 millimeters. Uh, maybe 0 0.6, but I'm not sure about this. A very densely packed uh, SMD chip. Right. Well, what do you need? You need a piece of desoldering uh, vial. This is for removing the superfluous, superfluous uh, solder. Of course, you need a solder iron and you need solder wire, soldering wire. This is a 0 0.5 millimeter, millimeter solder wire. Um, and, and this is probably the most important thing, you need an SMD flux, like this Edson flux. So, what you do at first, you just uh, put a lot of flux onto the uh, pins after you place the chip. This, of course, is the first thing to do. You need to place the chip before you can solder it. Um, I use this pipette, vacuum pipette, so you can uh, grab the chip and place it. And then, of course, um, you have to place it in a way so it's uh, it's placed symmetrically and perfectly on the pads. So, that's it. And now I'll show you how to solder this. It's Actually, it's pretty easy, if you know how this works. So, this is my solar iron. That's probably give, give you a lot of smoke. So, you just use a little bit of solder, right? So, what you do now is you distributed it evenly on the pad. Well, the trick is, this is a lead-free uh, PCB, so this is really hard to solder sometimes. Well, the trick is, don't use too much, don't use too little. So, what we have here now are bridges. So, I removed those bridges. Okay. Well, looks quite good for our first run. Let's check it out. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. For demonstration purposes, let's do this with the, the second side also. With this side. There's already flux on, on this side. So, the flux makes it pretty easy to evenly distribute the solder without making too much bridges. It's very likely that there are a few bridges, especially on the end. Um, right, there of course is bridge also, but you will always remove those. Now I may close it again. Right. That about is it. So, but this is how you solve such a densely packed um, SMD IC. And you see, it, it would work even without a, a stopping agent, because the stopping agent isn't around those pads. It's, um, you see, there is no stopping agent between those pins. That's that is a fact, so this works without a stopping agent. The real important thing is the flux. Right, and uh, after you're done, you will check this optically, right, if there are any bridges. And if there are, you just use the soldering wire and remove them. That's it. Well, that's the whole trick. Well, thanks for watching. See you soon.